Okay, hi, hello everyone. Welcome to our free online courses. And today's purpose of free online courses will be the brief of demonstration for creating civil 3D surfaces model. So now I already opened my civil 3D. Okay, I already opened my civil 3D here and I already import my point. So if necessary, we need to open this tool space. And if you don't have the tool space here, you can just always check it at the palettes here. Okay. If one of your settings here are not on, so you just can go to the icon here and enable it. So here I already have the point. So how to create a surface? So to create a surface, you need a civil 2D point or a Kogo point where, where it will be imported or you can create manually. Surfaces is created by its surfaces will be built to get uh, within the civil 3D point. So if I zoom into one of the point, I go to the detail. And if I can find this point, our cobalt point, and there is easting, northing, and elevation from each point here. So before you create the surface, you need to create the surface group first. So to create the surface group, you go to your prospector here, and you go to surface option, you right click, and you can click on this create surface. And here is the setting for the group surface. So currently, the surface are in thin surface type. And here I can enter the name according to my group. So for this group will be the EG surface group. And I can in enter the description for the group. Existing ground. And for, for the style here, you can change it right now or you can change later on after you create the surface. So if you want to change right now, you click on the style here and you can find there is a box with three dots beside the style. You click on it and this is the selection you have. You may choose one of these to generate the style for your surface. So I'm just going to use the setting for two meter and 10 meter background and I click on OK. So what that I do just now, I just create a surface, the group surface, the entry for the surface. I didn't create the surface yet. So if I go here to the prospector, I go to the surface, I can find the group that I just created just now. And if I expand it and expand it again, I can find the, uh, these are the data that I can insert to create the surface. There is boundaries, break line, control, DEM files, drawing object, edits, point files, point group, point survey queries, and figure surveys queries. So for my case today, I only have data for the point groups. So I go to point group option here, I right click, and click on add. And after I click on add, this point group box will pop up. So I already have my EG point group here. So I just click on EG point groups. I click on apply, click on OK. And it will generate my surface automatically in my project. So if I However, my cursor to the surface, I can find the detail. The surface is thin surface, which means it's a triangle surface. And the name for the surface, the star and the layer for the surface. So if I click on the surface, I will find the one more panel that will pop up for, especially, especially for the thin surface, e.g. So you can find the here you can add label, you can add schedule properties, edit surfaces, and add data. So if you find if you click on the drop down add data here, 
The option here is the same as in the uh, prospector. Okay, boundary, spread line, and so on. So for example, in my surface, I have a water line. So if I zoom in in this point, the surfaces are only connect within the GS point or the ground or the existing ground point. For example, I want the surface also included the water line here in their surface. So I need to create a break line. So to create a break line, you need a feature line. So I click on escape first to exit the command, zoom up. And to create a feature line, you need to go to create design panel here. Okay, you go to the create design panel and you can find there is a create, uh, sorry, there is a feature line option. You click on the drop, drop down and you can find there is a create feature line. You click on this one and this is the setting for the create feature lines. So I just let it set as default. I click on OK. And now I just can randomly add feature line in my, uh, in my surface. So for example, I want a Z point. I want to click a Z point for the water line because I already have the point for my water line. So I can go here at this, at your left, at your right corner here, at your left, at your right side here. So you find there is the transparent tools. So if I go here, I can pick on point object. Okay, I click on this, this one, and now I can freely only pick on the waterline point. So I click on the first waterline point, I click enter at my keyboard and click the second one. So I continue this step for all water line point in my project. Okay, click and click enter. Click another point, click enter. So I repeat this step for all the point. Okay. And the last one here. So I click escape at my keyboard. Okay. So now I already have my feature line. So this will be the break line for my surface. So how do I create the break line? So after you create your feature line, you go back to the prospector, go to the break line, right click and click on add. After you click on add, so it will pop up this add break line option. So in this description, you can enter the description for your break line. For example, this break line are the water line and click on OK. And now uh, it asks us to select the object. So I select the feature line that I just created just now and click on enter. So if you notice my feature, my surface, just now, uh, include, included the feature lines or the break line that I just created. Okay, if I change the style to make it more clear, I click on the surface, I go to the thin surface, e.g. panel tab here, I go to general tools, go to properties. So here I change the style here. This is why I say that we can change the style after we create the group just now. So for example, I change this one to contour and triangle. So you can find your surface now uh, include the break line. So for example, I want to add, add break line at this part. At this part too. Okay, there is a water line at this point. This part, so I create, I repeat the step, step. Go to feature lines, go to create feature lines, OK, and click on the point object. Okay, click on the 
fish uh, water line point. Okay, all of it here. And the last one, an escape. Go back to the print lines option in your prospector. Right click, click on add. This one will be the same water line. And select your object and click enter. So my surface just now already changed to already included the, the, the break line as their element, as the surface element. So you may repeat this step for all of your surface. You want to add big break lines, you want to add boundaries, you want to add the surface for, for this point, also can. So that's it. That is how you create the surfaces in Civil 3D. So see you on our next free online courses for Civil 3D. Bye-bye. Uh, check. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you to CCW. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.